Yeah, the flat panel large screen TV. So this is this is um, this is the server here, and it's down there, and the and and that's that's the other part of that power panel generator right there, and it's just it's just and then there's Mary. <laughs> so she hates. This is she beautiful. Anyhow, so yeah, yeah. Hey, Mary. And we um, love Nancy too. And then, yes, Nancy too. Yes. Well. I don't know if we have loaded this the program on Nancy's machine, but uh, have we done? I don't think we have, right? No. So what we've done is we've gotten we've we're network connected. So essentially, every single one of our computers we've got all new. We had to get all new computers because of the XB and all that sort of stuff. So um, we all because when we take the X-ray, then it goes into the server. Then we have to send those X-rays out so I can read them from any computer. So they all have each. They all have to have the network. Now, what's really fun though, are electronic medical records. They they work together really well because once we've marked them, and we have the dimensions the way it is, we can save them, and then Mary can go and grab that saved image and put it into my chart note system. So what we did with like with with you, it was already put into my chart note system. We didn't actually go into the the, the digital X-ray, the formatting one. It had already been saved there and sent to my medical records. So I access the right, so directly we can then look at your x-rays right from my medical records and, and it's, it's the, the digitally generated x-ray. It's just, isn't it amazing? Wow. It's just so exciting to me. So that's having having this and so far <laughs> it's really exciting. So um, so marking films digitally, I, I was one of the things, so I was gonna do a couple things here today and I think with, with our time frame, I don't think we will. I think what we'll do is we'll do a, Kind of a short tour, and then you guys can, those of you who are under the time crunch, can go. If you're kind of curious and would like to actually see how do we mark a film, mm -hmm. we could actually show that to somebody if you would, if somebody wants to say, we were, I, was gonna, I was planning on doing that. But I'd like to go ahead and then do a tour now and actually show you this, the room, and then we're back to that. Now, but before we do that, are there any questions of what we went over first? Yeah. How's the quality compared to the previous? Spectacular. I'm absolutely thrilled. Yeah, well, it is, and where the quality comes, um, well, just just even you know taking your films today, just I I on uh, the hardest one for me has been this AP open mouth because to see the top two bones in the neck, mm -hmm. you basically have a patient open their mouth, ah, uh, and then I take the picture, and I'm hoping to see bone number one and two. Do you mind if I share what happened with no, you? No, go ahead. Okay. So, what what happened was okay. So I, I we lined up everything was perfect, right? But what in her, the way her neck and head, or her skull, came down and covered up what I wanted to see. So from a quality standpoint, I mean, I could have kind of hallucinated, but I said, Nah, let's. Can I do better? Can we? And so I actually had to bend her head forward, and I took the X-ray then with her like like that, so the skull wouldn't come down over those bones, and we have a glorious OP open mouth. So in her case, I mean, it just it just took it was like that's not good enough. Let's just redo that. Let's get it. Let's see if we can. Get, it's it's a beautiful AP open mouth. Where before I would never even thought about you know because at that point, well, you know, some people's skulls, you know, they 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 do that. That's what happens, right? The fact that we could try something and we could do it and and what do you know? It worked, and I got the instant feedback. I knew what I could try and I did it. And so it just it's, it's a beautiful it's a beautiful picture. So those sorts of things. Um, uh, and and having that contrast that I can change, um, I mean, if, if the if the X-ray machine is hasn't been run for a while and the chemicals are a little bit weak, you don't know that, right? Mm. You take the picture and you think it's going to go through, and then huh, and they're all going to be lighter then. Mm. But you've already you know, you've already taken the pictures. You didn't know that until you ran them through, right? Mm. Whereas now, since I have a chance to look at every single one, I look at it before I pick, take the next one. If we need to make any modifications, we know instantly then, and we can see what wow. we need to see. Wow, cool. uh, and it's just like, oh my word! So the quality just—it's—it's it's just, just—it's just a whole other level. And I, I wasn't kind of thinking about that. I would just think, oh, I'll replace these extras that I had this way, and now I have this. Oh my goodness! It's just nice. It also gives us better care because you yes. are able to do what, like you did with me. Well, because the question is, yeah, I mean, realistically, if you were to go like to a hospital where have they have all these fancy, I mean, you could lay and they have these tables that move and they're, you know, they're, they're dealing with these terrible crises, all these sorts of things. Well, now there really is no reason for you to do that because we can see as much as we, you know, it's it's really kind of neat that 
that the resolution of this stuff is, is absolutely spectacular. We can look at it and we'll be able to look at it together, which will be neat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are the x-rays the same as before, just a lighter version? Same frequencies? You know, I have no idea. I wish Bob were here. He could answer that for us. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't know the answer. But the x-rays, the, the quality of x-rays is fabulous. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about what I'm seeing. Yeah. Whenever you go digital, yeah. um, you can tune in to, to make it more effective rather than a, a shotgun approach. Yeah, they're, they're, it seems more detailed, isn't it? Just in terms of, uh, the, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah, I worried about, but I see, I remember the first MRIs, when they came out in, let's see, I graduated in 86, so I remember those very first MRIs in the mid to late 80s. They were extraordinarily pixelated, right? So the resolution wasn't very good. I was worried that, ah, oh, these, you know, and some of the earlier digital x-rays, they, they didn't have the resolution, you know, they, you know, just like taking a photograph versus now with the, uh, all the digital cameras, we're really not having the conversation anymore about you can't, you know, because mm -hmm. the resolution has improved to the point now that these digital SLRs are just fantastic and they take great pictures and they're so much more versatile that, that the old traditional cameras are kind of going away. And so this machine that, that, that I was using that was perfectly good, they basically dumped it. Nobody wants it. Mm -hmm. You know, why would you put something that's double the exposure, you know, even though it's perfect, it's working, it still does its job. You know, so, yeah. All right. Well, thank you. So, uh, for those, if you want to see the tour, you can at 625. So, I know some of you guys want to go to other things, but uh, I can take it. For those of you who want to come back and look at this, come with me. Thank you so much for coming. Have a great evening. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah.